Microphone check. One, two, what is this? Two peas in a pod. And we back to business. Yeah. Hey. I'm Platini. And my name is Black. And it's two peas in a pod. And we're back with episode siete. Mm, mm, mm. We made it. Bro, seven? Seven. Crazy. Seven set in <laughs> Creole. Yeah, we made it. Seven. Numero siete. With, with, with the Lord willing, we're going to make it to... One hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Nani? Pla, can you tell me what this glorious day is? Listen, man. You know, y'all know, y'all know we are big, big, big fans of Marvel. Humongo. We love DC too. Don't get it wrong. Fact we love track. DC too. Y'all saw the you saw the last episode. We shouted out DC. They just gotta get it together. Get it together, baby. But today is a glorious day for. Our Fellow friend who isn't with us any longer, but we still carry his legacy with us, Mr. Stan Lizzle. The late, great Stan Lee. Come on, man. 100? 100? Oh, it would have been man. 100. Crazy. Ah, but his legacy is still here, man. Mm -hmm. We still mm -hmm. carrying that torch. Mm -hmm. We still doing what we got to do. I couldn't imagine a world without him leaving what he left behind. <sighs> left us a whole... like. I'm a. If you're a fan of Marvel, you're already saying you're a fan of Stan Lee, and like, have to it's be. just that's a brilliant mind to have given us all of that, yo. Look where we are. The Marvel Cinematic, you, you. Oh wow, this is crazy. Because it's crazy. Because it's, it's generations. He literally gave us generations mm -hmm, of this. Mm -hmm. My mom grew up on the Marvel comics. She. You didn't know this, but she had comics. It's just, you know, moving around. She didn't get to keep all of them, but she had comics. And then come down, and I happened to take that itch from her, and I got my own set of it's comics. It's a great itch to have. I don't know. It is, it is, it is. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And it's, it's cool because, it, in all honesty, I miss the cameos. Mm -hmm. I miss the cameos in the movies where he'll pop up out of nowhere and you'll yeah. be like, oh! I ain't gonna lie. And every time he pop up in a Marvel movie, I die laughing. I'm like, you slick. Matter of fact, since we're here, Stanley would have been 100. Marvel, who's your favorite character? Of all, and don't give me no, don't give me no, it's a tie between, nah, nah, nah. Who's your overall favorite character out of the Marvel universe? Here's, here's the problem, though. Hmm. Nah, why you gotta do that? Uh, you, you, I, gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I got my answer already. You, you, X Men, you, X -Men you, is just, Marvel. You going? You going? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> can we? Okay, okay. Can well, we at least I'll, give you, this. I'll and give you this. I'll give you this. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You can either who's your favorite Marvel character and or group? Because I understand a lot of people rolling in, in, in squads. Uh, 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 your your person might be a, a part of a certain faction. You know what I'm trying to say? I already got my answer. <sighs> okay, okay. Can I just put a put a slash to this? I don't know. It doesn't know. have to be two. It does, how about character and, and, and villain? Can, no? That's cool. That's cool. Can we That's do that? Cool. Character, a, right. a good guy and a villain. I'll, I'll give you my good guy. Beast. I know that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't know. yeah I think I already character. know yours. Go ahead. He's a great character. You know who mine is. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wolverine, yeah. man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Logan, what do, you, what do you want me to say? Let's go, let's so go. Who, who, who's your favorite? I already know who your favorite villain is. That's crazy. <laughs> Can I say it for you? Go ahead. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie. I don't have an answer for the villain one just because, oh my, Marvel has, that's one thing uh, Marvel has done good. Just like you know the superheroes, you know their villains. And my fav one of my favorite villains is it's only because they've had beef so many times is Omega Red. And that's who oh, Wolverine's one of. Oh, I hate yes. Omega Red. Yes. Yes. Omega yeah, Red. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. That's fire. I mean Beast and Doom don't really they do if you really go deep. They don't really have that. I'd like, like that. to see them sit in a room and just. They they verbally joust all the time. I'd love to. All yeah, time. that's crazy because they're both smart as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your reasoning behind liking Wolverine? Wow, every time? the reason I've never been asked this before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His. This is gonna sound crazy because you know, obviously 
this stuff isn't real in real life. But that, that, that don't matter to me. We're that's in, not how my world. world. That's not world. how my mind works. Yeah, we're in the world. His life is, if you think about Wolverine, Logan, however we want to call him, his life is full of pain. Oof. Traumatic events in his history. And even though how, no matter how bad it got, he always found his way through, e through, through, even if the means might be gory or bloody, he made it through. And I found a lot of parallels in his life and, and mine. And it just, I was just like, yo, this is my guy. Cause like, I understand where you're coming from. I understand why you're so mean, bro. Mm -hmm. I understand. But yeah, that's, that's why. He been through mental pain <laughs> constantly through Physical, physical pain. pain because mind you yes he has regeneration mm -hmm. but every time those claws come out he still feels the pain there's no it's not numb every time every time mm -hmm. he gets shot he gets lasered mm -hmm. arm falls off whatever mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. and, and pain. time after time he can't even trust no one time he, he, after time you 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 everyone's a, a, always trying to uh do some uh mess with them and like it's like the only person who was somewhat honorable to him was maybe ex Professor X and X Men. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, that's his dog. That's, that's it. his dog. He rides for X every time. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying. But for me, Beast, Beast, going back to the cartoons, because that's how I got introduced to X Men. If you know the intro, if you a real one, if you know the intro, you know this man in the intro is on a subway upside down in a trench coat, reading a book, gets out of the trench coat and goes ready to war. That was me. That, that was dope. me. That, was, that was me that all was my dope. life. I was always a book nerd, still a book nerd, but I'm always about that life. I'm always about that life. I like that contrast. Yeah, man. That's, yo, Beast is the... Okay, the then. Okay, then the same way you like... Be what was the reason Doom? for Doom? <sighs> he's just so intelligent. Yeah, yeah. I can show um, that. He's a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, it's the way he goes about... He, his his pride for his country, his, his little Latvian country, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the reasoning behind why he's a villain, it's one of those, you know when, okay, you're a good guy at one point, a villain is a good guy at one point, and it's literally the reason why he's like this is because of his country. He's always like, yo, I'm going to ride and die for my country. And whoever crosses this plane, whoever messes with my people, y'all are getting it. For me, it's beyond that. Not only am I going to ride, for, I'm, I'm going to ride for my principles and what I believe in. Facts. And Doom has never strayed away from who Doom is, no matter who you are. He and I always find that dope about him. That's it. That's my boy, Dr. Doom. Doom. And then... um. To answer that with Omega Red, it, it's it's pretty much simple. Omega Red is a bad guy's bad guy, and he stands on his. And the way he came to fruition is as him being a part of the Soviets and Russia, what they had going on, and they brought him back. That whole story, it, it's just it's insane. Once you get to Omega's story, you'll see why. He's nah, he's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's not I was just cool. thinking about it. He's he's not, always beat. Not. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, it's the end of the year, so basically, this would be this would basically be the last episode of the year. Facts. And looking at the calendar right now. Yeah, yeah. We. I'm not. I've never been the type to do New Year's resolutions. I'm not like that. It's just. I'll take it. I look at it as things I could improve on, and um, one of the things I'm trying to do is take advantage of all my blessings, and when opportunities come, never throw them to the side. Just. Attack it right there versus letting it fall to the wayside and nothing become of it. I mean, like, why not attack it? What's the worst that can that can happen? You fail? Oh, well. You know how many times you fail in life? You know, so more so attack my blessings, do more, um, be more open-minded, and, um, yeah, have fun, basically. Have fun, man. Mm -hmm. I say, this is something I put on my calendar on a monthly. I always have it. It's literally right there right now. Keep striving for greatness. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Keep mm -hmm. striving for greatness. And, and like he said, I'm not really a New Year's resolution type of guy. Um, that's why I constantly change my calendar and have it there. So for me, I'm just keep going for greatness and stay consistent. That's it. Consistent. Yeah, yeah. Consistency. Consistency. That's, consistency. What, that's where all time. the money's at, man. Only thing I will say, like, like to top this all off, don't let the new year make 
you think like, okay, this is it. I have to do this this new year. Nah, man, you could start today. Start yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Start yesterday, tomorrow, don't mm -hmm. matter. Even if the new year passes a month, two, two, three months, let's say you, you already got your new year, new year resolution goal done, then what? Start over. Do something else. Strive for something else. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the new year lock you in for one thing for the whole year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let it be a forever thing. Uncle is here again. <laughs> what was it? Punch it? Punch it last week? This time we just going to take it straight, baby. This is for mm -hmm. y'all, first of all. For real, good day, man. If you're watching this, trust me. From the bottom, the crevice, the crack of my heart. Salute. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. You don't have to be here, but look, look where you are. Yeah, what's up, man? Hundred percent, y'all. If it wasn't for y'all, thank you. We honestly, uh... no caritas too. I want oh, yeah, you no to carita, know, no caritas, no caritas, ain't no carita, no caritas gang. No, 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 no. Don't well, do that. Show, 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 show. Oh, so so they know it's real. Show. Not even that. Ah. Woo. You ready? No Cheers, caritas gang on the way. Man. Cheers. Hey. So siete. Siete. New Year's to y'all. And happy New Year's. Be safe. Wishing you the best. We ain't driving. We nah, nah, nah we're cool and we're no chilling. No drinking and driving. Cheers. Salute. I could... The fumes. I Yo, no, no, I'm not even lying. They're like, come like a dragon. Fumes. No, Kaita, don't do that, man. We ain't doing that over here. We are happy to say... Just like how we said episode one, we've been talking about this podcast for a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's been a minute. We've been consistently on it. Uh, I think we make a great team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On accident. This is nothing. Nothing's planned. We just turn it on and do what it do. Boom. I'll, get, I'll, I'll write a few bullets. But a lot of the things that we say is just off the dome. We give you literally free, like free We're freestyling. Because we don't we don't like being too scripted. We like to oh give y'all. Oh my the god, that overproof is just sat. If there's a couch in my stomach, the overproof just sat on the couch like, ah, I haven't been here in a while. Hey, B. I'm, I'm talking it out right now. <laughs> that, uh, oh, that shit's right. <laughs> What's that you say? It's all, it's all good though. But like we said, man, we we you know, we like to freestyle it. We uh uh Low key, we like to call it the Natty Boys. We like to keep it natural, yeah, man. Yeah, I like that. I we like, like that. to keep it natural, like man. We like to keep it natural. You know, if, if it's too scripted, we look like robots. It's not genuine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get how a lot of people, some people, they need to be. And that's fine. That's what works for them. But for us, ah, we, 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 you know, we off the dome, guys. We off the dome, guys. Especially this guy. My man raps for a living. No, I'm just joking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for real, for real, we appreciate y'all. New Year's is going to be a good, good year. 2023 is going to be a good year for everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wish everybody love, happiness, success, success, wealth if it's upon you. If mm -hmm. not, work for it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful for health, it. all of that. Work for it. Speaking of health, I know y'all going to be in the gym. It's going to be crowded. Look, look, <laughs> if you're going to go, if that's one of your resolutions, one of your goals, don't go for a month. Don't go for two. Don't go for three. Try to go for a, th a solid six months. All I'm asking is you go one time a week. I, I was just about to say that. So I'm going to say don't, one time a week. Don't over, over exact. Like, don't do. If you go there seven times a week don't, right don't at the new year. One times a week. And hey, if you feel like you can carry on two times a week, more power to you. Go ahead. All I'm saying is one time a week for six months. See what that gets you. I know there's those big heavy lifters out there, but <clears throat> cardio is king. Mm -hmm. Stop playing. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. I don't be in the gym too often, but when I go, cardio is cardio king. Cardio is king. Cardio is Come king. Come on, man. Stop playing. Do do the cardio. Doesn't have to be. You don't gotta do twenty miles. You don't gotta do fifty uh, miles. 10, 15 minutes of cardio and Bro, take your ass home. That's all. Uh, 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 much. One of the the documentaries we've seen, big heavy lifter boy. He literally does cardio one mile on super low speed. That's all you need. Faster too, no food. Oh, no food. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, hey, take look, it easy. Take it easy. Look, look, if if the big muscle guys that you see are doing cardio, what what are you talking about? Come on. What are you talking? Everyone at some point has to do some type of 
cardio. Get your get your get your planks on too. Get your planks uh, on. <laughs> I preach. By the fault, you should be planking, but that's another story. Get your planks on, man. I do want to bring up a topic: the Eagles. They've been doing really good. Real well. Um, we are thirteen and two. Yes. That's not na name another record right now to see in the NFL. No, no, we got the best record. Okay, in the NFL. that's what I thought. In the NFL. Okay. Right, that's why I thought. We got the be best record in the NFL. We did uh, have a little. We had a hiccup. hiccup. It's cool. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, really yeah we were on the same page. We had a little hiccup that just happened, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, cow. Oh, I was gonna say cow girl, cowboys. Shout out to y'all. We won and one in the season. Uh, I'm not gonna say no excuses. Uh, we shot ourselves in the foot. Y'all played well, um, but our playoff hopes they're there. We locked us up this Sunday against the Saints. Uh, we also. Lead the league in sacks as a team. Um, we can also break the season sack record. We only need 12 sacks in two games. In the last three games, we had seven sacks, six, and six. Mm. So 12 sacks in two games is not far-fetched. Not far-fetched. That's light. I feel like we could do it. And long as Fletcher gives me my pressure that I need, I'm not asking for much. Fletch, Graham, Sweat. Reddick, thank you, all them boys. But this is one thing I do want to say. Right now we have three Eagles double digit sacks. That's we need beautiful. one more to be the first team, first team in the NFL with four players in double digits. And my boy Brandon Graham, the vet, the man who messed up his leg last year, came back and now he has nine sacks on the season. <sighs> At his ripe age, he just needs one more sack. Two games, one more sack, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. I know he's going to do it. He's going to. Yeah. And then we're going to have four players in double-digit sacks. First time ever. And the hate's going to come more. I'm just ready for the, the hate. When it, when it happens, I'm ready for it. Not them. worried about it. I'm Not worried about it. it. Well, uh, uh, well, what did Sammy say? Uh, uh, if you got haters. Oh, uh, you're doing something right. You're doing something right. Yeah, shout out to Sammy. Sammy, uh, uh, what's it? Uh, Cat, Cat Williams? If you got haters, you're doing something right. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I ain't even worried about it. To the haters, we love y'all. I hope y'all have a good 2020. For real. Happy New Year's. Love y'all. On real. to a topic that we also love. Anime. <sighs> Chainsaw Man has been our latest anime that we've collectively literally mm -hmm, sat mm -hmm, down mm -hmm. and watched. And I don't know... If you've been watching these episodes, we've talked about Chainsaw Man a few times. So if you haven't been watching it, I don't know what you're doing. It's it's the last episode. Just dropped. Uh, we're going to watch it. Um, it's the last episode? Yeah. What number? Nine? Ten? Ten. Ten? ten. All right. That's cool. It's going to be the last episode. I hate that. It's the last I know. I know. Because they're going to take so long. To I know. Time. I know. It's going to be a good ride. But 2023 <laughs> has a lot of good, a lot of good animes for us. Attack on Titan's coming back. Uh, speaking of which, your next venture. Don't know when. Don't hold your don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Uh, wait, wait, who did, did it? Stephanie Tanner used to say that. <laughs> don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Uh, <sighs> Patini's next venture. Cause mind you, the man takes forever to watch anything. I gotta he's, get there. He's not a man of waves. He's not a man of tides. He builds his own waves and he <laughs> walks at the beat of his own drum. <laughs> but we smoke <clears throat> and we discuss this. When will it happen? We don't know. But it, not, it will happen. I'm not going to pressure him. I'm it just going to you know, wait till he's like, yo, Plaque, it's time. Demon Slayer is next. Demon Slayer is next. And I like this because there's enough Demon Slayer out. We got two seasons and a movie that you need to watch. And the next season's coming up in 2023. So you got a lot of content to come. So in 2024. <sighs> don't mind him. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind him. I, I, trust me, guys. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> A movie can come out today and you won't watch it for the next five years, man. I've been doing better, though. I've been doing better. Only because I forced me to do it like a child. <laughs> Open up on the... <laughs> oh when did Deadpool come out? Oh, Deadpool my. 1 and 2. It's been like, it like two, three years. Four! 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 And I had to I had to force feed him both of them. And the, the funny thing is... 
<laughs> the funny thing is, I have both. I have both. Popped them in. It wasn't like it wasn't like I could run anywhere to escape. I nah, I threw the first one on. He said, "Yo, that was actually good." I was like, "Well, guess what, buddy? I have two. I threw it right in there." It He's fire. like, "Yo, that was fire." It was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to wrap it up with the anime, we will soon come get some reviews on the Demon Slayer by yours truly, Mister Platini. Mm -hmm. And it'll be dope. Cause and it'll be dope and authentic because I've never seen what is it called again? Demon Slayer. I've never Slayer. seen. I don't know what's going on. Only thing he has seen is me play the online. video game. Yeah, the video that's, game is dope. Yeah, 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 that's the only thing he's seen me. He's seen me go through the trenches online. Like I, I've gotten my ass whooped. I've learned, re got my ass whooped, learned again, leveled up, leveled down. He's, that's all he's seen, which is cool because he's he's. Kinda... So I have an idea of the. I've seen a few characters and I have an idea of what the powers on and what's going on. He's he's a little acclimate, like acclimated with the powers and what they got going on, what what the premise of it is. But once he starts it, I know it's gonna get crazy. We will get back to y'all. I'm not gonna say anytime soon, but when it does, we will mention to y'all. Mm -hmm. I will say this though. New Year's Eve. We will be getting fucked up. Yes. <laughs> and this is for y'all. Responsibly. Y Responsibly. We're going to be staying home. No driving. Please, please. Look, look, please. Again. Don't be cool. Drinking and driving is not cool. There's Ubers now. You got friends who will willingly be designated drivers. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to others. Your family loves you. Other people's family love them. Keep that in mind. Yes, please be safe. And on that note, this was another episode of Two Peas in the Pod with episode Siete. And if you're feeling the vibe, like, share, and subscribe. That's all you gotta do. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs>